Hi, this is Julia Gulevich from GLOG Software. In this video, I'll show you how you can check your email list for validity using the Advanced Email Verifier. I'll tell you how to set up the program settings, how to create a list and load your email addresses into the list, and how to save good email addresses after the verification is complete. So, open the Advanced Email Verifier. At the program startup, you will see a message saying that you need to go to the program settings and enter a valid email address into the Mail From field. So, click OK and the program settings will open. You will see two fields, Mail From and domain name for hello. Type your valid email address into the mail from field. Now copy your domain name, it's the last part of the email address, and paste it into the domain name for hello field. If you want to use random mail from fields, you can check the Use Random Mail From option. The program will generate random email addresses based on the domain name you enter here. Plus, you can check the Use Random Domain Name for Hello option and add many domains to the list. If you check this option, the program will use the domains randomly taking them from this list. Now look at the DNS server list screen. The program determines your Windows DNS server automatically and you can see it here. Plus you can add more DNS servers manually, for example. To test if the DNS are working, click Test DNS. If you see that the test fails for some DNS, you can click on Clear Failed button and remove not working DNS servers from the list. So, after you enter the settings after the DNS tab, click on the Connection tab. Here you need to select the option how the Advanced Email Verifier will connect to the recipient's mail server. The Advanced Email Verifier works like an SMTP server. It connects directly to the recipient's mail server and imitates sending an email message. But no real message is sent. Then the Advanced Email Verifier waits for the mail server's response and classifies the email address based on the response from the mail server. As you see, the Advanced Email Verifier supports four connection modes. Direct Internet Connection. You can select this option if your Internet Service Provider does not block the port 25. The Advanced Email Verifier uses the port 25 to connect to the recipient's mail server, so this port must be open. To test if the port 25 is open or not, click Test. If the test passes, the port 25 is open and you can check the Direct Internet Connection option. If the test fails, it means that the port 25 is closed for you and you can consider using one of the following options. Connect through proxy server. If you have a good working SOX proxy server, you can check the connect through proxy server option and enter the proxy server name, the port number, select the proxy type, SOX for SOX5 or connect. Type your username and password if the SOX proxy server requires authentication. And in this case, the advanced email verifier will connect to the recipient's mail server through this proxy server. If you have many proxy servers in a file, 
You can check the Use Random Proxy Server from File option, select the file with the proxy servers on the disk and click Open. If you check this option, the program will take proxy servers from file randomly and use them to verify your email addresses. And the last option is Connect through Web Scripts. If you check this option, you can use a web script provided by GLOG software to verify the email addresses. Click on Get Script button and the program will open the folder where the PHP script is located. Now you need to upload the PHP file to your website. You can use your favorite FTP client to upload the script to your site. Paste the script link here. So after you select the connection mode, click on the Rules tab in the settings. Here you can see three rules we added by default. They mean that the program will not check the email addresses from these domains hotmail.com, live.com and yahoo.com. We added these rules for security reasons to avoid the IP address to be blacklisted. If you still want to verify the email addresses from these domains, you can delete these rules. Just click delete. Or you can add your own rules by clicking on insert button. Well, that's all about the settings. Click OK to save the settings. The next step is create a list that you will upload your email addresses to. Put the mouse on My Lists at the left pane, click on New and select Create New List. Type a list name. List description is not required. If you have only the email addresses in a file, you can leave the list structure by default and click Create. If you have any additional fields like first name, last name, company name and other fields in your file and you want to import these fields too, you need to add custom fields to the list in advance. Click on Insert and type a field name. Select the field type, then click Insert again to add another field. When you add all the necessary fields, click Create. When the list is created, you can load the email addresses. There are two options to load the email addresses – Load and Import. You can use the load option if you have the email addresses in a text file. The email addresses must be aligned one email per line and the first line must contain the email word. You can type the email word manually. Click load, select the file on the disk and click open. To import the email addresses and additional fields with the contact information, use the Import Wizard. So after you load the email addresses, click Start. When the verification is complete, the results will be displayed on the screen. To know the reason why the email address was classified as unknown, Look at the last response field. If the unknown email addresses are not set by the rule settings, you may want to recheck unknown email addresses sometime later. To do this, click an arrow in the Start button and select Verify email addresses unknown. If you want to recheck the email addresses that were marked as timeout, select timeout. To recheck grey listed emails, select grey listed. 
After the verification is complete, you can save the verification results to a file. To do this, click an arrow in the Save option and select which email addresses you want to save. To save only good emails to a file, select Good. To save only bad email addresses, select Bad. In the same way, you can save only unknown, timeout or grey listed emails. Type a file name and click Save. As you see, the Save option saves all the fields to the file. If you want to save only the email addresses without additional fields, you need to hide additional fields from the screen. To hide the fields, click here and remove the check marks next to the fields that you want to hide. Leave only the email field and click Save. In this case, the program saves only the email addresses. If you want to save the verification result to a file of a different format, use the Export Wizard. For example, to save only good email addresses to an Excel file, filter the email addresses by the verification result field, click an arrow in the field heading and select good. If the program does not let you select good or bad email addresses, select the custom and set the custom filter. Verification result like good. Click OK. When the emails are filtered, click on Export, select the file type and go through the steps of the export wizard.